people how are you all so today okay first of all <laughs> i'm very sure most of you are literally into this mentally coma state just seeing at the title that what is she doing today i know i know it's a very funny story how this this entire idea came into my head um you know actually there is a friend of mine who <laughs> okay i don't no if i should say this but bhalu i am giving you a shout out today so bhalu had this uh, person this crush not actually ex but you know more like a crush uh, sort of thing who's getting married now and i don't know if i should say this name we were talking about this uh, he he actually uh, brought up this entire point that um, you know what if i have to go to my ex's wedding you know so then this idea actually came into my head that there are so many people out there who actually have to attend their exes marriages some of them have moved on and they attend as friends some of them haven't moved on and attend because they have to so th- that happens it happens to the best of us you know because we meet people we might fall in love we might have feelings for somebody and but they might not be with us for the whole entire life and that happens right it does so let's be practical about that but also there are many people out there who are very sad about it see honey those who are meant to stay will stay no matter what please please don't burden yourself with these feelings that oh i did not get that person i'm very sad and everything listen it's all about destiny you're going to get what is best for you nothing else so yes stay happy with whatever you have you are self sufficient your love is enough for you that is what i'm going to say if this makes somebody feel better about themselves or their life i would be more than happy that's it what it is having said that also um another thing is that uh, you know when we actually land into the situation where we have to go to an ex's wedding it it can be it can be a very weird kind of um experience you know it's like a very cringy moment you know you cannot go there and cry that i'm gone my dear you cannot do that right so that's why i thought what if i have to go to my ex's wedding what am i going to do in that situation listen on my channel in this life over here we don't cry we burn people so that is what i'm going to do today i'm going to burn people because yes that is what we do so next time if you have to go to your ex's wedding remember you don't cry you burn so if you want to see how i did this makeup let's get into the video right now Now before jumping in make sure you subscribe to my channel if you like me or you like my videos and press the bell icon to get notified whenever i post a video also follow me on social media all the details and links are given in the channel art press them you will get redirected and just follow me everywhere doing makeup does take a lot of time that's why i just wanted to be warm and comfy in my hoodie because it's chilly okay it's still january and it's pretty cold So we will start up with the primer. So I'll be using these two primers, the Inside and the Wet n Wild UV primer. So I'll be using this on the T zone and this on my rest of the face. We are going to be the tint man today. Also, um, you know, as I'll be doing my makeup, I wanted to share a few stories with you because <laughs> I've been very goofy in recent days. You know, like literally very goofy. So I just wanted to share. I am just. Too hilarious to be on this back. No, seriously, just kidding. But I really did a lot of stuff recently. Um, so uh, you know, a few days back, I just saw this video uh, on YouTube itself where they actually showed how to clean your sponges. You know, all these beauty blenders and stuff. So um, they said take a dishwash and put some olive oil or some sort of oil in it, and you know, like. soak them in that mixture sort of marinate them and i did that because i wanted to clean my sponges so i took some dishwash and i took some olive oil and i soaked all my sponges and also because i wanted to clean my brushes i also soaked all my brushes into that mixture now little did i realize that um the sponges are going to get clean easily but the bristles of the brushes are actually going to have some oil left on them i did not wash my brushes like 
really hard with the soap and everything because I thought yeah they have been clean because they looked pretty clean so when they sort of dried I realized that they still have a lot of oil on them and you know as I was doing the makeup the other day it was full of olive oil and that certain olive oil smell was coming that was an epic fail I had to wash my brushes all over again today because that one was epic fail already I mean, <laughs> we, we learn from our experiences, right? Also, another hilarious thing that happened to my brushes today was this, if you can see. Can you see this clearly? This was a wet brush and I actually tried to blow dry it on the full heat. On the full heat, literally full heat and that the mirror never stays. Don't blame me, okay? The mirror never stays and that happens all the time. Now let's move into the eyebrows and I'll continue the story as I do my eyebrows. I'll be using the Miss Claire Stick and the Essence Brow Gel because these are the only eyebrow products I'll have. So as I was actually, you know, this brush um, was sort of drying. My brushes were still wet and I was like, um, okay, I have to shoot. I need to have like dry br brushes. So I thought, yeah, let's just blow dry them. Blow drying will make them dry easily. So I blow dried them on the full heat. Oh my god, I can't, I can't do my makeup and talk at the same time. Okay, so I did it at the full heat, literally the full heat and <laughs> it burnt. It legit burnt. The bristles are burnt, you know, this is, this is a pretty useless brush now. <laughs> but I find that brush is legit burnt now. See, see the matter of the fact is, fact of the matter is, what is happening girl? The fact of the matter is, please don't do this at home. I'll clean the brows now and I'll be taking the concealer brush. And to clean my brows, I'm, I have been loving this NYX HD concealer because I don't know why but I sort of love it for this thing because it's a pretty, pretty light concealer and it, it gives this very intense look to the brows. So we'll do it with this concealer only. And it has a good coverage when it comes to, you know, covering all this brow area. Can you see? It's so clean now. It's so crisp. I absolutely love this concealer for this thing. Also, I want to add another thing about this particular look. Uh, see, I'm not trying to typecast it into something that okay you have to do this kind of makeup or you have to do this exotic or this um, intricate sort of detailed sort of makeup uh, I don't say that uh, the only thing I, I would say is see in my case I feel my eyes are a very prominent feature on my face and um, you know all these colorful exotic makeup looks actually make me sort of you know stand out of you know all the other things people so I that's why the re that is the reason why I um, do these kind of makeups but uh, if you feel that is not in your case you can definitely keep your eyes simple and go with something like a very bold lip or um, you know anything that works for you this is for you to see what really works for you we move into the fit me foundation this is in the shade 128 warm nude and Listen, I have had this love-hate relationship with this particular foundation, but recently I have been loving it because I feel it sort of matches me. I was in this sort of, you know, misconception that this is not my shade and it makes me look darker, which is actually true because I think this is this shade sort of matches my neck rather than matching my face and I feel my face is slightly lighter than my neck which is what I feel and I think this is the reason why it actually makes me a little little darker but um, I think working with concealer it gets fine by the time so yes I'll be using this particular foundation only so I'm going to use the combination of these two concealers I think this fit me foundation along with this NYB concealer and this NYX HD concealer this is a good combination and I have been loving this for a while now I wore it in a video recently and I just felt it was good actually I am going to start with the NYX concealer because this is a pretty light shade and you know these two concealer this NYB concealer and this um, Maybelline foundation has been a little darker on my skin so I 
I'll go with this lighter concealer along with a much warmer, darker concealer because we need to mess things up a little bit. I'll be taking this and let's quickly set the under eyes. And I'll be setting the rest of my face with my Maybelline Compact. Quickly with the same Wet n Wild um, contour, we are going to contour the faces with a brush because our, our blender is lost now. So this one trick that I have been loving lately um, about face contouring is I take a little contour and I try to contour it down over here because um, in this direction because um, I have this sort of very um, square face so doing this thing actually makes it even more chiseled. Taking the blush and I'll be using the same the brush that I used for the face powder quickly moving around. I always forget what to do. I'm so a little bit on the nose to you know keep everything very cohesive and put together. Now to complete the stuff, I'm going to use the eyebrow mascara because eyebrows sort of lose their color and also they need to be set. After everything is done, I'll be using these two, this Maybelline um, Duo Stick, because I, I sort of like the highlighter in this. It's really, really nice and it's, it's like sweetly glowy. So yeah, I'll be putting this. You see, it's it's really nice and glowy. Okay, so we are done with the base makeup, and now it's all about the eye makeup, which is going to be a grand thing in itself. I hope so, and I think this is going to be like a three-hour-long video today. I have no idea. So yes, let's move into the eye makeup. Let me quickly put the tapes, and then we we'll move in. I don't think I really need to tell you what lipstick I'm wearing because at this point, it's obvious what I'm wearing. It's this two, my favorite combination of Mars and Hilary Roda. I wear this all the time. We're going to start with uh, a bright color today and I'm using this. This is an Essence eyeshadow, Mono eyeshadow. That's what the name was, Mono eyeshadow. And this is in the color Lola Petrola. And it's a it's a sort of a peacock blue color and, are we, and we are going to take it over the crease area. Let's pray to God we turn ourselves into masterpieces. Taking a fluffier brush, we are going to buff and blend this properly. With this green color on the top of this color to, you know, just intensify the moment. Just to give it a flush of green. So I'm actually going to mix a little bit of blue, you know, just a touch of it. So that, you know, it can blend in perfectly. You guys have seen me using this palette before and uh, you know what, I extremely love this particular color. I extremely love how it looks on the eye. This color and this mint color, this, this, these were love. So we are actually going to work with this palette also today because it has pretty blues and greens. So I'm actually going to go back into this Lola Petrola and we are going to intensify the crease color with this one. Just like the one third of the crease. Let's use the setting spray and intensify. I'm moving into this palette again. Now taking this particular color, I'm taking a concealer brush. First of all. Now again, we'll use the setting spray, wet the brush and we'll intensify the color. In the transition brush, I am just going to move back into Lola Petrola for a while. We are going to blend these two colors together because we need them to look seamless. So yes, Lola Petrola. We are going to move into this minty sort of color. 
and we are going to put it on the rest of the lid. I'm going to do the um, eyeliner and I'm going to use my Viano eyeliner by this time you already know how we do the wing. I'll do the wing off camera and then we'll return. Okay. Okay, so I am back and yeah, the upper eye is done. Highlighter shade and we'll quickly do that. I'm taking the same palette and I'll be taking this particular color because it's a pretty, pretty intense color and we're going to take it and do the brow bone as well as the inner corner. Now I'll be using this Rimmel stick, the emerald green stick because now we want the greenness into our look since it was a blue green look and it looks only blue so far. So we'll bring the green to it and only the mirror could stand on itself. So I did a pretty thick line because we want a lot of intensity. This dark green color, is it visible? Yes, the dark green color on the outer portion of the eye and moving it into the wing and the color right next to it is going to be for the rest of the eye quickly i'll be taking a fluffier brush and moving into the lightest of the green color this one and quickly giving a smudge Ooh, bam yep now moving into the mascara i'll do my lashes and mascara quickly off camera and then we will return so yes guys this is it for today's video and this is what i did so yes if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll meet you in the next video bye bye don't forget to subscribe and watch the next video right there